Greetings. Hey, it's Susie Q. We're working with this band of energy um, that was part of my Kundalini Awakening in 2015. So we're going to kind of do a dive deep on this. So when whatever whatever we're looking at is like what's happening. You know, back then in 2015 is what's happening to me. What else can I do? What 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 do I need to know? How how can I understand what's happening? All of these questions are happening for a lot of people right now on this beautiful. <laughs> planetary school, right? You know, so a lot of people may be having kundalini awakenings or feeling uh, unsettled or, you know, these different states of consciousness that come in where you've got gifts and then all of a sudden it's too much, you know? And so for me, it was too much in 2015, but we're going to start. <laughs> I don't have those feelings anymore. I've already integrated everything. So anyway, so 2015, a year of change, shift, grief, confusion, and plenty of other gifts. And I tell you what, there were a lot of gifts that came through. Total lunar eclipse in September 27 to 28 in 2015, it was in the USA. Total lunar eclipse was in September and it was in the USA. Then we had another eclipse, a partial solar eclipse, uh, also in September and it was across the pond. So we had two big solar eclipse um, events that happened right right when everything was like churning me up it, it kept churning and churning churning and it was it was it was kind of a cray cray it was kind of cray cray now I'm like I said fully integrated with these energies non-linear energies become the awakening of a newer way of healing within it was on a Tuesday interdimensional phenomenon Work of Eric Pearl via the reconnection was the theater, a massage table, 40 minutes at most. My meditative awareness saw eight beings, which now resemble technological apparatus. All eight, no faces, no arms, exact replicas of the same apparatus. This began the electric currents. Each device infused what I call electrical currents. First, it was my right wrist, but there was physical touch. Then it came to my skull, the skull, um, and it felt like there was somebody that was actually holding my, you know, my, the back of my head, but they didn't have hands. And then they also did the abdominal work. They did a lot of energy work with the electric currents with the abdominal area. And, um, and that and, and 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 with the person or the being or the device it was holding my head the whole time just like like back up in here okay my intuitive nature asked for this practitioner i didn't even know what it was about so when they came in this practitioner came in i didn't know what she was going to do but i mean i tell you what a lot of stuff shifted um all right so my intuitive nature asked for the practitioner i didn't even know what it was about charge in some way as a conduit of electrical currents, kundalini awakening. So that's when all of the electrical currents started assisting with me. And what I call it now, back then I just said there were electrical currents and it started from um, my lower legs to the um, upper legs and that was the beginning of electrical currents coming through the body. And eventually when I do sessions up here in sunny Scottsdale, I have a full kundalini awakening. Uh, full kundalini energy I'm um, just all just running it's just like running 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 and it feels and it feels yummy <laughs> I have to say it feels super yummy all right so we're going to go into another piece here when we realize that our inner and outer vision is crowded out by false or fear-based thoughts beliefs or shall we say limited ideals of potentiality our inner outer vision sees only what we deem to know within our conceptual reality. Lay it down, unwind, untether, unbelieve, dissolve. <laughs> Remember there is more right here, right now, available to you. There is a source of energy that is in your field right now. To tap in, even if you can do it just for a little while, Sit with the idea that there is so much more here now just for you. It's golden. Create. Dream out loud with your heart's intent. Feel into your body sensations when you are fully realized in your heart's intent and awakened state. 
Notice your body. Feel into the lightness. If heaviness or any sensations draw your awareness, dream a little louder. Affirm that which you wish now. Like a genie in a bottle, touch the smooth coolness of this container of potentiality and allow yourself to affirm your heart's intent. For the sake of her, Shakespeare <laughs> reminds us all that in the story you are everyone and everything. Discern in your highest light that which you desire and that which will gift more love into your field. All of all, it will all be fine either way. Ah, you are invited to stand on stage with colors all around as the frequencies lift you higher and higher and higher. On the view, and oh, the view is delightful. How funny it is that the view was here all along. <laughs> so, I don't know. Yeah, it's kind of crazy, when, you know, looking back at, you know, these experiences, you know, back in 2015. I've talked about it a bunch, you know, about the 2015 energies because I had... Um, initially I was super psychic. I could hear, I was super psychic. I could hear people's thoughts. I could get, you know, feel their impressions. I could do body scans and these are not, I didn't actually ask for it, but that's what was happening to me. It's like such a hot mess. So even when I went to the grocery store just to pick up a few items, I, I couldn't stay too long because I was, I was so, um, I don't know, just listening. I was just constantly around people and I could hear thoughts and I noticed that a lot of times some people are kind of yucky yes <laughs> maybe I'm yucky I don't know but we start looking at some of these uh, some of these gifts that I had and so initially I was doing um, complete body scans and I didn't have any intention to do it but I would just go down um, wherever I was going I could just do automatically going into body scans and finding hot spots and I really didn't say anything to anybody, but you could see there were hot spots in the body that might need a little bit of healing. And I don't know that if I did anything to kind of infuse that, or, or maybe I just was freaked out, you know? So when we're having these big events where um, our personality or our body or our spirit is saying, go for it, and you're like, I don't want to go for it. I'm, I'm good. I'm good, people. But I just had to lean into uh, these energies. And so back in 2015, it was it was quite an um, epic experience. And especially when you have so many different um, senses of consciousness that just all of a sudden came in all at once. It'd be great if you just had one gift, like maybe maybe some intuitive nature or, you know, some other kinds of healing modalities. But but for me, it was like, it was everything. I was like, this is cray cray. And so that was a big process for me. And that Tuesday, um, that work of Eric Pearl, again, I just acknowledged, I think her name was Katrina Hunter. I'm not sure if she's still doing it, but she's, I think she's maybe in Houston. But I, I really just acknowledge my capacity to have awareness that there's going to be some help and guidance for me. And I just knew, I didn't even know who she was. She came to a networking group and then she sat right next to me and I'm like begging. I don't know what you do, but I feel like you can um, assist me. So that's where that really began uh, from a networking group. And then um, the experience was so phenomenal and so lovely. And even though I'm, you know, I'm a yogi, so I can go into a meditative state pretty easily, but I could see three different beings or apparatus or technology that was on both sides and one was holding my crown here the whole time and then the other there was somebody else at the feet and and sometimes they just took my arm like this but they didn't even have hands you know they had kind of a semblance of a face but there was no like face like ours it just was just you know just this this presence and that's where I began working with healing energies this has been a huge you know, amazing win for me to acknowledge the gifts that I received, even though it was kind of, um, you know, scary at the very beginning. I was like kind of freaked out. I was like, I was like super freaked out. But now everything is integrated real easily for me uh, to have a better guidance with my body, noticing the 
energy that's working through me. And even again, when I was listening or, or just going into that written piece is that when people come in for sessions, I get that Kundalini and it's yum, yum, yummy. So, um, but yeah, there's a lot more to the story, but I think that's it for now. And we just know that we have helpers. We have helpers along the way, beautiful divine beings that are ready to assist and be part of our healing journey. So we'll see you soon and namaste. <laughs>